Oh, 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 he got me. Ninety-nine. No. One hundred. There. That seems to be all of them. Honestly, wave your sword down here, and you're bound to hit a goblin, or a troll, or maybe even a gremlin. Anywho, passage leads onward, so I must go onward. It's getting pretty lonely down here. I haven't seen a face, or, or at least a normal looking face, for quite some time now. Oh, I know. I'll sing myself a tune that ought to lift my spirits. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, slaying monsters, saving princesses. Oh, who goes there? Oh, come on then. Let me fight you. Your round off is dead goblin number 101, I believe. You take one more step, Sir Nort, and I will release my arrow. Oh dear, a crossbow. That's right. You dare move from that here spot. And you'll soon enough become dead knight numero uno. Another victim of the hospitality to be found here in the passageways of the bleak caves of Drelgon. Oh, damn and blast, I'm a fool. <laughs> and to think, if it wasn't for that foul singing, I probably wouldn't have noticed you, Sir Knight. Our singing is fine. And I have a name, you know. I'm Sir Ganahad the Pure, a knight of the round, protector of the king, and all his peoples. Oh well, they call me Gunge. And trust me, Sir Galahad, your singing was atrocious. Wait, that's it? Well then, Mr. Gunge, I'd like to see you do better. Well, well, well. It will be my absolute pleasure. Ahem. <laughs> da dee da. Do dee do. I'm singing at the caves before I kill you. And I'm sure that you'll make the purest not stew. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> yes, I knew it. His twisted tones were bound to cause a rock slide. He's only gonna crush himself under the rubble. All I need to do now is uh, climb over the rocks and. <clears throat> and would you look at that? I'm past the fiend. I'll be taking this crossbow too. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh boy, Prince! Oh, this is useless. I'll never find him down here. What's that? I can hear something. Birds? I can hear birds, and what's that? Grass. No grass. And trees. Up ahead. There's a light. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Where does it lead? There's only one way to find out. Sweet freedom, I'm coming to get you. Ooh. Oh, the light. It burns. How long was I down there? Wait a minute. I know that road. I know this cave entrance. I'm back where I started! Oh, damn and blast! Oh, what a waste of time. I might as well put this sword away. I'm not going to be needing it now. Right, there's nothing for it. I have been beaten. I will return to the king. I will tell him the dreadful news that I have lost his son. And I will formally resign as a knight. I can't believe it. I'm a failure. Oh well, I had a good run. Maybe I could become something else. A different kind of hero. 
I could become a tillerman, or a salesman, or maybe a travelling hermit who does this and that. One thing's for certain, though, it won't match up to the life I've had as a knight. I will miss it daily. Look at this. Boys playing in the street, taking up the road. Show him. You there! You there! Get out the way! Knight of the realm coming through! And if he insists on making me his heir, then I'll run away. What is he doing? Just like I have to. I'll run away and I'll never come back. You there, young boy! What? Are you the young boy prince, son of the king, heir to the throne? The one who will. Yes, that's me. But not for much longer. I'm running away. But, but we thought you were kidnapped. You can't do that. Why not? I'm my own person. I don't belong to my father. I mean, technically and legally and... You kind of... No, never mind. You can't run away. Because what happens if, when it comes time for you to take the throne, you're not there to fill those shoes? And before you know it, the whole kingdom is being run by your evil uncle or... Your evil half-sister, witch mage, or, I don't know, something even worse. What? No, I don't care. That's my father's problem, and my mother's, and everyone else in this stupid kingdom. Oh, I see. You're not good enough to run the kingdom. You're not cool enough. I get it. No, that that's not... I guess you've left us no choice. We'll have to find a new boy prince. Someone strong, noble and true. Not you, of course. You're not good enough to be king. No, you're wrong. That's not true. I'll show you, Sir Galahad. I'll be the best king this kingdom has ever seen. Good, good. That's the spirit. Let's get you home. Yes, Sir Galahad. Let's get me home. And I'll become the greatest leader you've ever seen. I'm fine. What a brat. We'll take the lake. We'll find a boat and traverse it. Faster than having to wander back through the pines and then, you know, across the valley and... Up and pass. Come on, come on. Let's get you home. So, when I'm in charge, Mr. Galahad, I'm going to make sure the kingdom is protected by a big dragon. Isn't that a good idea? I think that's a great idea. I don't know why we don't have more dragons around here. And I'm going to make sure it's breathing fire on all the poor people so they don't bother me and my friends. Would you like to be my friend, Mr. Galahad? Nah, you're probably too smelly.